out of here, bro. Chat. What is going on here? We just walked out. Chat. We got a What is going on here, man? Listen, people don't put away their carts, but they put it on the hood. <laughs> Look bro, at that. They've like, they've like welded it on the top of there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> or something. I have no idea. That's wild. That is wild. Hey, to see. I guess you always got to be prepared, right? Dude. Welcome to Utah. You know what they do? They just pull in. They go drive literally into the grocery store, fill it up, and then just drive out. Hey man, yo, what's up guys? We get the mic on? Mm -hmm. All right, yo, paying a workout today, leg workout, leg day, my favorite day. Not only because you get to train your legs, you get to train your body, you get to train the mind. It's my favorite thing about leg day. This is like the day that transfers the most, I would say, to mindset. You know, you get to get all in here, chest, whatnot. There's a little bit of that. Leg day is the day you can really push it, train a giant muscle group, you're gonna get more fatigued. Today you can train your mind more, you can really hone in on that. And so, me and Austin are gonna be hitting the leg workout, gonna be crushing today. Maybe we'll talk a little bit, of, give, give you some tips on some leg stuff, but you know, I think we're gonna kind of dive into the reasons we really love the gym and talk a little bit more about that. So, let's crush it, baby. One of the biggest things too, we said, when you're trying to warm up, go through the movements, get the mobility going, everything. One of the biggest things is getting your body warm. That's like one yeah. of the biggest things when it comes to preventing injury is literally just trying to raise your body's core temperature. Um, and you know, guys, if you've been paying attention to anything, the streams or anything, someone I always talk about is Lane Norton. He did a really good video recently talking about injuries, injury prevention. And something he mentioned, one of the biggest predictors of injury is sleep. If you're not recovered, underslept, the chances of you getting, in, getting injured goes up tons. We're talking two, three times. Um, they did some study where it was like in the military, right? They uh, had guys that were uh, kind of sleep deprived. They only had gotten four hours of sleep compared to guys that were getting eight hours of sleep. They did a study on this. The guys that were in the four hour group had an increased injury risk of 248% compared to the guys that were getting eight hours of sleep. That's wild. So one of the hugest things, you ever underslept, you're feeling worn down like that, you know, maybe you can still hit a workout, but you shouldn't be, that shouldn't be one of your workouts where you're trying to like kill it, right? Yeah. You're not trying to max out PR or hit some crazy list and that. That's something to be very, very keened in on. Well, this is what a lot of people mistake in anyways, is everyone thinks that when they start their fitness journey, mm -hmm. it's all about what they do in the gym it's more important of what you do post gym right you we can right. all show up right we can run on a treadmill we can go for a run we can go yeah, for a walk so we can go for a true. lift but we don't what we don't teach is the nutrition 
Yep. And and the recovery time. Yep. Recover. Sleep, nutrition always should be number one. Yeah, Everything else can follow. Everyone knows how to then pick up a weight. Yep. You can learn your form properly and and progress over time, but yep. If you can't progress in the in the kitchen or if you can't progress on your recovery. Yep. yep. Well, that's a big reason people don't make progress either is what you just said. Yeah. You see people, they go in the gym, they're the same they've been since the last three, four, five years they've been in there. And it's like they go in and they work out, yeah. but then they don't eat enough calories. They don't get enough protein. Like, And that's uh, that alone is They're not willing they're to missing. put on a little more like fat to get a little bit more muscle. Like, This is why packing your meals early on uh -huh. is super important because it, this is what helped me is as soon as I started tracking consistently, I realized how much I that's, wasn't eating. That's one of the big, you, I you wasn't learn eating. so much about your own diet and your own body. When yeah. you, even if like something that I always say, like even if it's something where you don't want to track the rest of your life, do it for just like two, three weeks. Yeah, it, and it doesn't you'll eat learn your, your whole so life. much by doing it, like by committing and being like, I'm gonna track my macros, my protein, my calories. You're gonna start to be like, oh bro, I was actually eating this many calories. I need way more. Or like I was only getting yeah. this much protein. Or maybe you're like, yo, I was eating way more than I thought I was. Because and the other thing is like, you'll start to realize like, bro, you get like a scoop of peanut butter. And like, say you're like, you only got like 2000 calories. You get a scoop of peanut butter and you're like, bro, that, pe that scoop of peanut butter was 400 calories. Like I could have ate like three massive bowls of fruit for the same damn yep. thing. <laughs> Well, and even on the like to top that too, as you guys start like being more consistent and you're you're building muscle, your your cardiovascular is starting to increase. What happens is your body's metabolism increases, and so you need to actually increase your intake. This is why like yep. check-ins with a coach is always important, yep. and being honest with them. So if you get a coach, you got to be honest with your coach because yep. you know two weeks into your prep, if there's no changes, that means it's working. That doesn't mean your coach isn't helping you it means it's just working yeah number th two is if your metabolism starts increasing you're building that muscle uh-huh you might have to and your goal is to gain weight good weight not dirty bulk you're gonna have to then increase your calorie intake but if you don't track it you won't know what your caloric intake is and so that's why it's important to like track make sure you're getting the proper feeding because if you're not growing it's because you're not eating enough your metabolism is increased so you got to be able to figure out what that issue is I always tell people man like when they're starting like anything they're trying to manipulate their weight stay the same gain weight lose weight carbon like carbon carbon app, is amazing it's literally this is your coach yeah it's 12 bucks a month for something that you would have been paying somebody like literally hundreds of dollars a month to do yeah like it's wild but like if you train yourself to just like, hey, this is a routine that I have, you'll start to realize that like you can eat whatever you want. Yeah. Because you've already tracked it for so long, you know how to get back on track. Yeah. And that's you know, that's what it's nice. It's, and it's just a good routine to have. It's I think my I think like it tracking actually improved my relationship with food over time. Like I think in my relationship yeah. with food is worse to start with. Calories in, calories out. Right. There's that is what you should be looking at, but there's also right. quality versus yeah, not 100%. Good. And so if your body can't digest a certain food, you probably shouldn't have dairy because your body can't digest it. You know, you probably shouldn't have this like fast food burger. Yeah, you can still get your protein, grams, and carbs. Right. Carbs and fats. Right. But are you going to be able to digest it? Are you going to be able to process that food? Is your body going to be able to respond in a proper way? If it doesn't, then yeah, it's probably not going to be good for you. Yeah. It's great. It's grow time. <laughs> time to grow. <sighs> It's time to grow. Yeah, no sh tree trunks. It's time.
we go. Let's go. Is this your final one? One, yeah. like extras? No, this is final. Assistant? We'll see here. Yeah, we got it. He's going for like two or three more. Yep, good. Good shit, let's go. Yep. Let's go. Come on, keep going. Battle it through. Demons. One more, one more. Let's go. Yep. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Oh, we got one more. That was too easy. Too easy. Come on. Come on. It's too easy. You got one more. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Yep. Come on. One more. Oh, I'm gonna fall over. The only oh. thing about that oh. is when you go second after you tell the first one. <laughs> hey, you're about to, to die, bro. You're, die. you're about to die. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah, we're fucking Let's go. Ready. Let's go. <sighs> Let's go. Good depth. <clears throat> yep. Let's go. Push. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh. Now we're there. Now we're there. Keep going. You got another. You got another. Come on. Come on. Push it. Push it. Push it. One more. One more. Let's go. Let's go. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Push. 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 There we go. Good shit. Oh my god. That was good. That was really good. You ain't gonna be able to stand for a second, but. Holy solid. shit. You get a full extension on this. Yep. No, this is nice. This is a good one. So, I mean, good knee support. Something just from sitting on this machine that you might not be able to notice from the video, but I can definitely notice just from sitting on it. The way it's angled, and there's a reason that they got these, it's because this is still not at its max height. Like, if we see this, that guy goes at least, at least maybe like another couple inches above where I'm even able to keep it with my, my quads here. That's going to make it so you get a full stretch on the, on the decline. I went down the route of fitness I mean it's such a it's definitely such a stress reliever it's kind of what I said bro you can take like everything you had for the whole week and I can bring it in here and I can make it into something positive where it's like any negative situation anything like like you know I can, can bring it in here and I'm like I'm gonna kill it with the damn workout um, but it's like 
Another thing is like just getting better, getting stronger, like being healthier, like all those things. But like, know, it's just like, it's like it's therapy. Yeah. It's like some bad shit's going on. I can go to the gym. By the time I'm over with, it's done. Like I feel so much better. Yeah. And it, I'm, I think I'm just addicted to trying to improve. And this is something where it's always been like, I know what I put in, I'm going to get out. Like, even though it takes time and whatnot, like after you've done the gym long enough where you start to see like improvements in yourself and it's not, it's not just the improvements that you're making in your butt, it's the improvements you're making in your mind. Right. And like that gets addicting, it gets addicting, getting stronger, it gets addicting, getting better. It's good. It gets addicting, like feeling like you're overcoming things. Yeah. I think that's like one of the biggest things. Well, you hit around the dot because you know, for someone that went to therapy myself, uh -huh. you know, you, we go to therapy or we go in through stuff. We are, we're always trying to find answers. Mm -hmm. You know, you're trying to, you know, what direction do I take? Right. And a lot of the times when you're in the mix of stuff, it's a pretty foggy situation, right? Mm -hmm. You don't know what route you're right. gonna go. You don't know what you're gonna do. And you hit it right on the dot where like you come here and one, it's a place for like self-improvement, but yep. two, it's a place that you can really get into your mind yeah. and like really focus on what what's going on around your life. But also yep. you kind of get to escape for a minute. Right, you go to therapy, you're yep. talking about your situation. Yep. Yeah, you can with no answer. everything at the door. You can sit at home and you can try to think about different things you could talk to yourself, but you're still you're still facing it. Here it allows you to like it's forget almost like a little you need bit to overcome it somehow. But then when you put yourself through mm -hmm. that dark situation of like I'm going through this hard lift, when you walk back out, you have more clarity. Yep. Right? You get to be like, it's okay, huge. I put myself through this and then you open up to more clarity, you feel better. You're, so then you can start thinking about what uh -huh. your next step and uh -huh. a more positive mindset yep. versus like you're constantly in a dark place and you're just constantly thinking about dark yep. here, yep. clarity. Then you have a, a yep. plan of attack of what's next. Yep. It's almost like by getting through this workout and getting the movement going, it's like you free up everything else somehow. Yeah. It's like you like, it's like you said, you come out and like you just can see things simpler and you like, you had a problem or something you're trying to get through, whatever that is, it's like your next steps become more clear. Yeah. Or at least like somehow like you, I always felt like whenever like I'm thinking about something, I have something like that. When I get done, it's like I, I have a better idea of like what I need to do. Yeah. I don't, and I don't every know time. exactly what it is. It's every time. And I think when you start doing it years over years over years of like showing up and you know that this is the therapy mm -hmm. and you have better decision making after. Mm -hmm. You, then that's why it becomes addicting because mm -hmm. you start to realize that the gym is, yeah, it might sound like an escape to what your current reality is, mm -hmm. but it's a, it's an escape to then have a better reality once you're out because you have more clarity. It's, a, it's just a place that brings clarity. It's so true. And like, dude, if it wasn't for the gym, I want to be a streamer. <laughs> that's straight up. Like I was living in the trailer. I had all this shit going on, all this shit in my head. Like I didn't want to go back to the, like that trailer. It just felt like shit every single time I went in there and uh, you know, sleep in there or whatever the hell it was. And like, it was like, I was coming back every time I'd walk in that damn thing. It was like, it was confronting all the problems that were going on with my family and everything at that time. And I went to the gym and like, that was like the thing that was like helping get me through that moment. And that was like when I started getting the inspiration to like become a streamer and whatnot. It was because of like going to the gym, like yep. was the thing that was building that confidence in me of like, I can do this. Well, because like, this when is you the hit thing I new, need to do and I can do it. And it's not going to be overnight, right? This takes what you, we've been lifting for 15 years. No, that was the thing. Like, and so like, it's going to take time and there's still things that you can't, it takes a minute to overcome, but that's why you come in here. You work a little bit harder. You get into a little bit more of a rhythm. You have to sharpen up your habits yeah. and then you start to realize that you can overcome more and more things over time because there's every time you see, get new, something new that's faced, in the future, something more is going to come at you mm -hmm. because you start overcoming those situations and more things will always come up in your life. But it's like, how do, how do you respond to it? And you're going to become more confident the more that you overcome it. Yep. But if you stop and keep having the why me mentality, and people have this mentality because they're not pushing themselves in other areas of their life to overcome it. So when like actual shit comes up, they're like, oh, why is this happening to me? Right. And then they don't know how to overcome it. And then they I just get see, stuck in that rat race. See, I think that like the thing is, is like that, I think sometimes that can even still happen. That still happens with us. 
Right? Oh, but the and thing it happens is, to me all the time. But you come in here and it like it like frees you from it somehow. Yeah. Like I don't know exactly what's going on yeah. when you do it, but like it's Hold like you could be stuck in a bad mindset. And I, but I know because I've just done this for so many times and so long now. But like I know if I'm in a bad mindset, if I go to the gym by the time I'm done and getting out of there, like it's gonna be gone. Yeah. Like the bad mindset's gonna be gone. Yep. And it's just gonna be a more positive. You know that you're the one willing to like get in here and yeah. do something difficult or do something hard. It's not to say people can't do difficult right. things or outside the gym, but you know when you go in here, you're like, I'm choosing to do something difficult that's gonna make me stronger yeah. and better. And you know that like other people aren't really willing to do that. Well, and it's and I think like, that that's a confidence builder for many people. Yeah. When I was like telling you back when I was doing 75 hard this winter. Yep. Right. So like, that's what helped me keep going. So I chose to do 75 hard during winter. And we had like the biggest winter storm in Utah over the like past 30 years. Uh huh. And one of the, like, the greatest feeling was like, it was 5 a.m. in the morning. Yep. I'm outside in a complete blizzard. No cars are out, no plows are out. The roads haven't even been touched. And I'm running in like four or five inches of snow. <laughs> yeah. And like, you just start going and you're like, I'm either one crazy dumb son of a bitch <laughs> or like you, you start building that confidence of like, this is why I'm doing this because uh -huh. no one else is willing to do it. And those little confidence boosts of like a little bit of a swagger you build. Yeah. The swagger yeah. confidence, right? Yeah. That like, you know, you know, that you, know that you overcame like that. something. That was one of the biggest things with cold plunge. And I think that's yeah. why people love it is not just because like they it's, talk about all the health benefits, it's trending, but it's not, you know, when you're doing something like that, there's not a single day you wake up and you're like, I'm ready to get in this cold ass freezing <laughs> yeah. cold water that my body just completely hates. But you do it and you realize like, there's not a lot of people that are willing to do this. Yeah. And like you, it helps you figure out like how strong you can be. Yeah. And the, the one of the biggest things with that is, is it's the, you're willing to do it. Yeah. Cause I really, I personally believe anybody could get to the point that they're capable of doing that. It's yep. whether or not you're willing to do it, right? Exactly. You're not willing to do the effort. You're willing to put in the work. Falling That's quick. supporting you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So instead of like weight being put on, the weight is like a counterbalance. Yep. Against your body. So your actual weight that you're lifting in this is your body weight, but then you've got some weight helping you on the machine. So you got like 90 pounds on there, but Austin weighs about 200. So it's like 110 pounds on the hamstrings. Yep. Oh boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a stretch, huh? That's what it is. It's a crazy stretch you get going. And you're engaging into your fucking ham is the whole time. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, face to the ground. Mm -hmm. Haven't done these since I think football, bro. <laughs> you're gonna feel it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. So oh. <laughs> There you go. Six foot. Come on. Hey. Get the fucking camera. All these motherfuckers <laughs> that don't believe me. Get over here, motherfuckers. Guys, he's six foot. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Boom. Right, do it again. 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 Hold on. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta stretch out. Okay, yeah. stretch out. Let's see. No gap on the toes. Oh. <laughs> six foot. God damn it. I'm a shrimp. I'm... Guys, I've been telling people that I'm six foot. They're gonna be like, I round up. Technically. Well, I was uh, saying six, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Damn it. 5'11". You know, I got maybe, Five eleven. I'm gonna maybe I've got a quarter of an inch in this hill. You sink down in here, okay? I'm gonna be, do the, the dad, 5'11". And a quarter. <laughs> you round up by a quarter. Come in. This. You know what I'm feeling? You what? You know what I'm feeling? Mobetis. 
That's a great call. <laughs> that is a great call. <laughs> Looks like that's a Canes right there, baby. I know chat, chat's been saying you gotta try out Canes. Don't go to it. Yeah, awesome. what do you think? No. What do you think about Canes? It's like two out of 10. Is this like the moon pie situation over yeah. again? Very overrated. It's like the chat, come on, man. Should be actually doing the legs, the post, post workout leg pump. It's a Saturday night moment as well. Everyone in the dogs here. Literally everyone. That's how you know what's good. Right? Best place. When you show up to a restaurant and you walk in and there's like no one there, don't you be like, oh, this place sucks. Yeah, you especially on a Saturday, Friday night. Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's like a weekend or a high time. Yeah. Maybe if you came in at like some crazy off hour and there's like a few people, but if you ever go in a place and there's no one there, that's a red flag. Yep. That's a giant red flag. And when we passed Raising Canes, everyone, it was empty. What? I said, when you passed Raising Canes, it was empty. <laughs> so that's your sign. There you go, that is a sign. And, and everyone Saturday came night. to Mobetas right next door. And they chose it. It's like Shake Shack right there. Shake, Shake Shack. Shake Shack out the window. That's even busy. I'm so Austin's never been to Shake Shack. Nope, never been. That's gotta change. Maybe we should go to Shake Shack just so that you can try it for the first time. It's up to you. I've got a lot of calories left today. I got a lot of that. Let's yeah. fucking do it. All right. We are changing game plan here. I know, this is crazy. I actually it's have- my favorite place. Well, bet is, but you know what? Sponsors. We're calling it Audible. <laughs> All right. We're calling it Audible. Check, check. Omaha! Omaha! <laughs> check. <laughs> check. <laughs> check seven, check seven. <laughs> All right, we're going Shake Shack. We're going Shake Shack. Listen, and Austin's going to try this, and I'm going to see. I want to know what he thinks for the very first time ever. He's going to try Shake Shack right here. Do you think this is going to let me down? I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be one of your favorite burger places. Ooh, that's tough. Five 100%. guys Five guys right now is my favorite all time. Oh, uh oh, this is a red flag. And, chat, uh, so chat and was telling Crown me, Burger. Listen, and we, Crown we had Burger. this discussion, and Chat was saying that Five Guys is like a seven or an eight, and then Shake Shack is like a nine. Oh, even Chat's saying it's. Chat was saying it. All right, we'll see. We'll see about that. I, I do like my burgers, so we'll we'll see. Let's see. I have no idea actually. What did you get again? I got the 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 trim burger. The trim, the trim burger. I got a double. Did you get a double? Is it numbered? I think yours is this one. This is, is a double. Yeah, that's your the bacon. Damn, dude. All right. So we got show show what we got. We got a double right here. This is a double smoke shack. Yeah, and this is the this is the shroom burger. Uh huh. And we got a little, I got a little shake, chocolate shake. Am I doing one with the the custard, right? Dairy free custard. All right. All right. I still don't know what is. Just in case. Yeah. All right, bro. Ooh. It's it's all moment right. of truth. Moment of truth for you. Here we go, guys. I don't know what the heck that is. That shroom part. 
fire. Bro. Uh-huh. Okay. I've All never right, tried one of those shrimp ones before. All right, guys. Good, good, uh, good burger. This double is fire. They got this sweet red chilies on this damn thing. So good. So good with these like sweet red wow. chilies on this thing, man. And some bacon. And the cheese. And the burger like melts in your mouth. I've never been disappointed wow. with Shake Shack. Yeah, I'm very impressed. I can't believe I haven't been here before. Very good. Very good chap. We still need to figure out what we're gonna try when we're in Vegas. It's coming up. We gotta it's try. Like, I feel like we gotta try one thing that's like completely like, like out of the norm. Away. I was almost wondering, like, dude, what if we tried restaurants that were like new or had just recently opened, so they don't have a ton of reviews and they have, they have a lot of people haven't tried them. I like that. Like maybe we try a couple new ones and then we try one that's like recommended. Well known. Yeah, but we haven't Hooters. tried yet. <laughs> no, we, know, we, know, we know why you really want to go there. <laughs> hey, I saw in the chat that they recommend Hooters wings. Was it? Yeah, and I, we were talking about it. We were talking about that. We were saying, bro, <clears throat> you're not paying attention to the food, bro. All right, that's what you're, what's going on. If you're recommending the wings there. You ain't paying attention to the food. <laughs> you're paying the attention to something actually, else. Not even that good, but you know. It's like when you're high and you're just like really not focusing, everything tastes good. <laughs> yep. Here's what's actually gonna happen though. One thing. If you were going, you, since we went into the workout today, I went into the workout today. I was already behind on my calories, right? You're gonna go, you're gonna hit a workout like that. You're gonna burn through muscle glycogen. You're gonna burn through a bunch of if your any of your like glycogen stores since you had an egg, you start burning through this. So you wanna eat something like this afterwards? Maybe not the burger, but even the shake. All of that's just going to go right back into your muscles. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of it. You're not overeating on your calories. I mean, you're just going to burn through this. Like the thing is, is I just had this. I'm going to still have to go eat after this to hit my calories. You said it right on the dot that a lot of people are mistaken too. It's like just because you are eating this doesn't mean you can't. You still got to go eat your protein and take mm -hmm. So I know Visser can't do it, but like for me, I'm probably going to go eat some egg whites. Mm -hmm. You know, something that's kind of lower on the fat end. I'll probably still throw in some carbs, but I try to lower my fats because like everything he had with a lot of the cheese, you know, the grease and all the, yep. you know, the fats, that's a ton of fats. Burgers. A ton of fats is what we just had. I try to, I try to lower my fat intake, but increase the protein and carb still because that's right. why you got to balance out. Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> Are you going? Yeah. Are we good now? <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> I'm Pac. Yo, everybody, that's the video for today. We crushed the leg workout. Boom. Awesome. Tried out Shake Shack. Was pretty damn good. Was pretty damn good. Um, yo, coming up, guys, we're going to be taking you guys with us to the dunes, and then we got the Vegas trip coming up as well. So, hey, man. Hey, remember, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you thought about today. Let us know what you think. And hey, man, still throw some recommendations for Vegas for some food places, man. But yo, outside of that, that's the video, baby. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.